that Mr Steve Bray, the man in the hat, stood as a Liberal Democrat candidate in a Welsh constituency, had the courage to put his name on the ballot paper, and came sixth and lost his deposit. <laughs> and we wish him a happy and silent retirement. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mr Deputy Speaker, the war in this place over Europe, and it has been a war, is finally coming to a close, not because there was a truce, but because the British people imposed their will on us and told us unequivocally in the general election they wanted to leave. Many here had argued for two years for a people's vote. We've just had one. It's called a general election and the outcome was unmistakably clear. The people of this country peacefully and democratically voted to get Brexit done. So, Mr Deputy Speaker, we will leave the European Union at 11pm GMT on the 31st of January. And I hope, Mr Speaker, in line with EDM2, <laughs> the House authorities may allow Big Ben to chime at that time to mark that historic occasion. Because, by God, after all this, we're not doing it again. But when we vote on this bill, when the bells ring this afternoon, Mr Speaker, we will be doing so to obey the instructions of the British people. They have given us an unmistakable order to leave the European Union, and we will vote for this bill in order to comply with what our employers have told us they want us to do. It could not be clearer, and as my honourable friend from North Shropshire, with whom I have fought this battle for many years, so clearly, clearly said it is called <coughs> democracy. Mr Deputy Speaker, the people have spoken and we will listen. We will do what they want. And when the sun rises on the 1st of February, it will do so on a free country. Yeah, yeah. Mr Deputy Speaker, all I want for Christmas is not you. <laughs>